friends we all know that the earth revolves around the sun similarly the moon revolves around the earth even our sun is also not a static object the sun revolves around the milky way galaxy since the gravitational force of sun is stronger than earth then why the earth does not fall into the sun the answer is given wrongly in many websites and videos according to their answer although due to gravity centripetal force attracts the earth into the sun but at the same time there is another force which pushes the earth far away from the sun and this another force is called centrifugal force and due to balance of centripetal force and centrifugal force the earth does not fall into the sun but this answer is absolutely wrong because centrifugal force is not a real force it is a pseudo force actually centripetal force and centrifugal force are same force just opposite direction because they are experienced from different frames of reference to understand the frame of reference we can take an example let's consider i am riding a bike round a circular path if you are watching from the outside of this circle then you can observe that a force attracts me into the center of this circular path and that is the force which we call centripetal force at the same time i feel another force on my bike which pushes me far away from the center of this circular path and this another force is called centrifugal force and from this example here we have understood the centripetal force and centrifugal force are experienced from the different frames of reference and centrifugal force does not contribute anything in earth revolving then why the earth does not fall into the sun actually the earth has a lot of sideways momentum and the earth's velocity perpendicular sun's gravity is right amount so that the acceleration towards sun curved the trajectory that means our earth is continuously falling towards the sun but at the same time it is missing the sun actually we cannot explain this incident in a single sentence to understand the incident let's do a thought experiment let's say i have a ball if i release the ball then the ball will fall on the ground now if i throw the ball horizontally then the ball will fall down like this in a curved path because we have given a initial velocity in this direction and the gravitational force of earth is continuously pulling the ball in this direction and the result of this the ball takes a curved path now if i apply more force in throwing then the ball will go further away and it takes more curved path the ball will fall on the ground in every time of throwing because we have assumed the earth surface as flat but our earth is not flat actually our earth shape is square now let's go a really tall building which is extremely tall like this and repeat the experiment from the top of the building then the ball fall like this on the surface of the earth if i throw harder then the ball will fall like this and this time it will take more curved path because earth's gravity always pulls the ball into the center of the earth if i keep increasing the speed then the respective paths will be like this and at a point when force will so large then the ball makes a complete circle and comes to the point of launch which exactly same speed therefore the cycle repeats itself and the ball revolves around the earth similarly our earth revolves around the sun the moon revolves around the earth and they don't fall in from their orbits now for better understanding about the planets revolving we can go to sir albert einstein's the theory of general relativity according to einstein gravity is not a force 
it is the result of space time curvature einstein said that our surrounding space is not as empty as we think there exists a space time fabric and for understanding the space time fabric let's take an example if we have placed a cotton fabric like this with the help of paper clip now if we have placed a massive object at the middle point of this cotton fabric then the object will bend or curve this fabric like this now if i throw a marble horizontally at the surface of cotton fabric then the marble will revolve around the massive object due to curvature of this fabric similarly our three dimensional space and one dimensional time bound together and make a single space time fabric and einstein assumed this fabric as space time fabric and this space time fabric exists everywhere in our world when a massive celestial body such as earth comes to the space time fabric then the celestial body will make curve in space time fabric and einstein assumed this curve as space time curvature actually space time curvature is not happen like this it is happen from all side of the massive object like this in our above example we threw the marble horizontally but the marble revolved around the massive object due to curvature of the cotton fabric similarly our earth revolves around the sun due to space time curvature which is made by sun and the moon revolves around the earth the revolving motion of celestial bodies is not as simple as we think it is more complex than we think when someone talks about our solar system then this model comes to our mind automatically which we learned at primary level but this model is not a perfect model and this model does not reflect actual motion of our solar system actually our solar system does not exist in single plane like this our solar system makes 60 degree angle with milky way galaxy now if we have rotated this model into 60 degree then we can see the actual motion of our solar system our whole solar system is revolving around the milky way galaxy like this but our description is not sufficient for understanding about the revolving of stars and planets there are many mysterious facts which we cannot understand from our description such as which component gives the initial velocity to our earth for the answer of this question we can go to the big bang theory according to big bang theory our universe was expanded from a singularity and it is expanding continuously till now here we can assume that a mysterious component provided the force to expand our universe we can assume this mysterious component as dark energy that means dark energy provide the force to expand our universe now we can imagine dark energy pushes our earth and all celestial bodies due to dark energy the earth has a tendency to go straight but it revolves into the sun due to space time curvature that means our earth just follows the space time curvature and result of it it revolves around the sun similarly the moon also follows the space time curvature of earth and the moon revolves around the earth friends we have given the example of dark energy only for understanding the topics even our scientists are not confirm that does dark energy exist or not so friends here we have finished our description if you have liked my video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon